So today we're going to release the IAP Hub um, component, and this will allow you to do in-app purchases as well as subscriptions, uh, renewable, non-renewable, everything else, um, using this component and IAP Hub. So this is the first component we're going to release that you actually have to pay to use. Uh, you're not going to be paying Pragma Flow to use this. It's going to be free of charge, but you're going to need to have an IAPHub.com account. Um, the reason why is because for in-app purchases, you need a server. And we looked around and, and we found that, you know, IAP Hub probably is the nicest, simplest uh, solution to use. And their pricing is pretty good. Uh, they start at $29 a month for, um, for up to $1,000 worth of transactions. So, you know, if you can't make $29 a month using subscriptions, then you probably should think about what app you're building. And then it scales up as you scale up, they'll scale up their pricing. Uh, and it's a really nice solution, uh, really nice people, uh, really good support. So, so I do recommend uh, using IAP Hub. They, in-app purchases is what they do. So as, as legislation changes, as uh, new rules come out, as Apple changes their policies, IAP Hub will be on top of the game to make sure that their product uh, complies with everything that's needed. So once you install it, if you have issues, you can go to adaloiaphub.com or sorry, Pragmaflow Inc, Adalo IAP Hub. Uh, and let's just go in. So the way this component works is exactly how the standard Adalo component works with one extra or two extra fields. Do I have, I thought I had the, Adalo. Oh, there it is, digital purchase. Um, so if you're already used to in-app purchases, you configure your Android product ID, your iOS product ID, then you can figure your actions, your buttons, and what happens on the web because web doesn't have in-app purchases. So with the in-app hub, we have, again, the web, a couple of extra actions. So when the purchase was started, if you want to do something, um, IAP hub will validate the purchase for you. So it's possible that the purchase went through, but IA Hub has not been able to validate that purchase. So if that happens, you're going to be, it's going to successfully um, have the transaction, but I, IAP Hub uh, won't have created that record. So you'll just want to say, like, oh, you know, pending some kind of validation and verification uh, as a response message. Uh, when it's completely successful, this will happen. And then if an error occurs, this will happen. Configure your button. Android product, iOS product. So the extra fields that we need is the IAP Hub uh, app ID, the IAP Hub API key, different environments. So whenever you're dealing with money and dealing with transactions, you should always have different environments, uh, you know, one for actual production, one for your testers uh, or your development department. So this is the environment. If you don't know what this is and, you know, you're, you're small enough, just leave it at production. This is the default from IAP Hub and this will just work. The user ID or the unique identifier of uh, the person making the purchase, avoid using emails for this. Uh, make a new column in your database and set it to a random number. And then Android product ID, iOS product ID. Uh, as you guys know, I really only deal with Android. I don't deal so much with iOS, so I didn't go into test flight and create all of this stuff. Um, so once we have that button set up, just for this purpose, I've actually created this as a list of buttons with my products. You probably don't want to do this. You'll probably have some kind of filter and Rather than making a list, you'll have different pages for different in-app purchases. So let's head over to IAP Hub. So again, one of the nice things about using IAP Hub for your actual uh, purchases is that you have dashboards. So you'll be able to see your revenues, you'll be able to see your transactions, 
You'll be able to see your active subscribers, your revenues, go into analytics, do A-B testing. So, you know, more than just selling a product, you'll be able to really get into uh, what's going on with your products. So the first thing you wanna do is just like the standard IAP hub, or sorry, the standard IAP components, you need to go through and configure your purchase. So just follow all of these steps that Adela has outlined for you. And then you'll have just one extra step and that's gonna be integrating your IAP hub. So when you get started, you'll have this nice little walkthrough that'll take you through how to get this up and running. Uh, essentially, you're gonna need products so I created a couple, VIP level one, VIP level two. And also a consumable t-shirt, again, just for testing, just for messing around. You can fill out the information. Uh, you can add groups. I'm not gonna get into IAP Hub. They have some pretty good documentation that you could read through and a nice onboarding flow and great support. Uh, but essentially, you'll put in your Android product ID and iOS product ID into IAP Hub, and this is how it's going to track your purchases for you and validate your receipts. So once we've gone through all of those steps, oh, another note, uh, the IAP component uses a different version of in-app purchasing than the IAP Hub component. So if you're going to go with IAP Hub, uh, the first thing I recommend and you should do is, is get rid of the IAP components and migrate everything over to IAP Hub. So more than just your subscriptions, also do your consumables and everything else. Don't have the IAP Hub and the IAP component on the same app. So I'll get rid of that. We go through, we set it all up. I guess at this point, Just load. load my app. We have the purchase. I can click on my purchase button and it will pop up my, oops, sorry, my VIP subscription. Because I'm doing testing, I can actually test to make my card always decline or always approve. I'm not going to go bother going through that. Perhaps in a different video, if you guys need some assistance on how to test in app purchases, I can make one of those. So that's it. Uh, so you, sh you should be able to do uh, subscriptions now if you sign up to IAP Hub, use IAP Hub um, for $29 a month. I think it's a great deal. Um, so, so yeah, if you want, start using it. If you have issues, just contact me and uh, we'll get you sorted out. Thanks and Happy New Year.